I believe we have a tremendous opportunity going forward to reinvigorate our media and ensure that the public airwaves truly deliver the kind of news and information that we need to sustain our democratic dialogue and to reflect the great diversity of our country, its races and ethnic groups and culture and music and arts. And I, for one, and I know you too, want to make sure these goals that you and I have worked so hard on remain front and center on the national agenda. Uh, we all recognize that economic times are tough and broadcasters are feeling it too, but even within the confines of a bad economy, there is much that can be done. Here I want to thank the Future Music Coalition and everyone in this room, really, for your leadership and counsel on these vital issues through the years. When the Commission first launched its last effort to loosen media concentration rules, and I hope it was the last effort to do that, more than 4,000 recording artists wrote us in opposition. In addition to platinum selling artists, many local musicians have stood up, spoken out, filed comments, and otherwise gone on the record to highlight the dangers of excessive media consolidation and the ills of excessive deregulation. Nobody, I guess, should have been surprised that you all stepped up. Recording and other creative artists have often been leaders for progressive change in our country, for our democracy in times of great social and political upheaval. And their music not only changed history, it really helps to illuminate the path before us.